Look at this! We're in the nuts! In the nuts. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? This is a quick guide to uh, working the chat overlay. So first you want to extract the chat overlay into a folder. The fonts, chat overlay, donations overlay, and index along with the license. Uh, extract them into a any folder. Um, I just went into my documents to extract the chat overlay folder. Then after that, um, we go to the folder itself. We go to the folder itself and inside you will find okay so use index and then from index uh, right click it and open with it seems Chrome isn't too friendly with it uh, although it may work I, I just tried Firefox and it worked fine. So then we go with this, ready? So let's get rid of that window. And let's pop this window up one second. Boom. Okay. Let's unlock that quick. No, no, we'll keep it locked. Sorry if the text, I'll remove the text so you can see a bit better. Um, Okay, so inside here, you put your username in, okay, for caffeine. So for me, it would be A Wind. You can choose dark text or light text, and then how many lines you would like for there to be. And then you hit Get Chat Overlay Link. Okay, once you click that, it will give you a URL that you want to copy. And then you have the get donations overlay link. This would be a separate browser source that you're adding to OBS. This one you can add the MP3 audio file that um, it would just have to be a file that's .mp3 and add it into there. So once you do uh, get chat overlay link, you want to go to OBS. All right, so we'll just do it this way, okay? So sources on OBS. Um, add a source name it uh, chat overlay okay and then inside there you will have a URL that's like https slash slash e3ndr dot github dot io slash chat overlay slash chat overlay dot html question mark username equals your username so mine's AE wind at text equals light at max length equals 10 so that's like all the stuff that you guys um, saw me do here. So it looks like this. So there we go. Okay, so you want to paste that as your chat overlay in OBS as a browser source. Now for donations, you're doing the same thing with this with the, with this file here. You're putting in your username again. Okay? Uh, this time, you know, if you don't want to add an MP3 yet, you don't have to. What I suggest doing is just testing to make sure it works. Um, and that is, so just skip the MP3 part now and just do the overlay test, okay? And once you generate that URL, you're going to create another browser source on OBS that is, you can name uh, Donation Alert. Uh, or caffeine uh, digi alert, you know, whatever you guys like. And once you do that, you, let's see, here's how mine looks. It'll give you the URL, and if there is audio, you're going to have an option to add so it doesn't test it every single time you change scenes and stuff like that. Um, Pig Stand helped me out with this, and uh, I'm indebted to, you know, he was looking through the code, figuring it out for me. So every time I switch scenes, it was playing the MP3 file that should fix that. So now we have text that looks like this. How's that look? Okay. 
So it goes the same thing now. Uh, caffeine overlay slash donation overlay dot HTML question mark username equals AUWIND at audio equals and then here's the uh, the file HTTPS www.thesoundarchive.com slash beavis and butthead slash anderson dot mp3 at text equals light at no test equals true. This is importante. So for all your scenes, you want to have the exact same um, setup for both of these. It's two different browser sources, okay? So your chat source and your donation source. After that, you're good to go. If you have any further questions after you know, after I put have posted this, hit me back and I will you know, get in depth with you and do a Discord um, call if you'd like and I can show you it that way but this is pretty easy so run the index in uh, a web browser from after, after you extracted it input your caffeine username input how many lines you want it to go and then uh, simply generate it paste the URL it gives you as a browser source do the same for the uh, audio uh, digi uh, test and if, if you want an example of what happens if you remove the uh, or if you don't add no test equals true let me just cut this really quick or copy it then remove it hit OK and now when we switch scenes It, it tested it. So that's the reason that we're adding at the end of this no test equals true. Okay? I hope that was of aid. Um, I really do. And did that. going to be at no test so it, it removed my at let me change that really quick apologies at no test oh geez okay at no test equals true okay now let's try that again nada there you go perfect so it's not testing the uh, the audio file anymore So, and then if you want, you can add like a chat box, something that, you know, is the size of the chat incoming, like this example over here. I just have to stretch it. I thought it was taking up too much screen space, so I removed it and just let the chat flow itself. But let me know if you need any other help with that, and I got you. Thanks for watching. This has been the Dojo Win the Window Zone. Thank you for all, being uh, for all of you being born. You can catch me on caffeine at www.caffeine.com. TV slash AE wind. Peace.